Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome to my final match day vlog of the year 2022. And there isn't a better way to end one of the most challenging years of my life than with a vlog at Ibrox, the place that is the bane of my existence. <laughs> like, I've never seen Motherwell win there. The last time I was at Ibrox, I got a concussion playing in a YouTuber's football match and I got knocked out by the YouTuber Jamel15. If you don't know who he is, he's basically a man mountain. So yeah, I am absolutely buzzing about this video and uh, I hope you enjoy. Right, so once again, I am making the journey to Ibrox. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not expecting anything. You know, Rangers fans I've heard aren't expecting anything either. Uh, whatever they have to say about how they've been playing, I don't care. I'm focusing on my team tonight. As we've been counting up the days, weeks, months, years, decades almost, since we last beat Rangers in the league, If we win tonight, I will be insufferable across social media. But it's, it's a far cry from that happening. And here we are. Here we are. Robocop is out in force tonight. We have about 15 minutes till kick off. We've gone for a couple of tactical changes. Van Veen's on the bench, but Shields leading the lineup top. Uh, I think that's just to go with the territory in the first half because Rangers will be dominating the game. We expect that from here. Uh, so I expect Van Veen will be calling probably uh, midway through the second half if things are still going well. But I don't know. I don't expect anything here tonight. If we do get something, it's an absolute Christmas bonus. So it's even more clear that I'm here and home tonight. And hopefully it's a good match at least and we get something to cheer about. Prediction, we'll go with, my head says a 2-1 win for Rangers, because Rangers always manage to get something off us, um, although with our bad record here, the funny thing is we were the only domestic team not to lose a game here last season, and that was including a one each draw and a 2 each draw, so I wouldn't even mind fireworks and a draw 2 each, but yeah, uh, my heart says a, a draw as well, but my head says we'll get beat. But here's open, I'm on the way. It's so quiet here, it's peaceful. A third Motherwell corner tonight. After nine minutes. Terrible ball, You know what? That is really cruel. That is Rangers' first attack. 
sent a goal and they've gone and scored. Well, I may miss for the best time to head up. And just like that, Rangers have taken the lead. I can't even say they deserve it either. 13 minutes in, but. Ah, shit. Fucking buy a win here. Six minutes before half time, we're two 0 down. That's the whole thing, knacker. Second goal, I was thinking in my pre-thought script, you know, I was quite encouraged with how we were playing even though we were 1-0 down and then the second second goal comes, uh, you know, as they say, two, a two goal lead is a very dangerous one as we saw from the last video but I, I genuinely don't see us getting anything or rescuing ourselves from this position like we did last time we were here. Um, I mean, we've got Van Veen on the bench, but that's the only really attacking threat I can really identify. Whereas last season we had players that could play on the break, and we, we don't have any pace to hit Rangers with on, on the counter. And it's just disappointing, really, because Rangers. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get clipped for saying it. Rangers haven't been that good. Genuinely, like you come here, like I come here and I expect nothing. Within the first ten minutes, before the first goal, I was like, yeah, if we if we actually keep it tight, then we can maybe sneak a draw or something. Because we were playing with intent and we played some good football. And then the the first goal happens and then we allowed Rangers to start playing more football and then the second goal happened and nah, it's fucked, it's really fucked but aye, bring on the second half prove me wrong Motherwell, prove me wrong There we go, second half's about to kick off on the well VAR 
is checking for a disallowed goal by Kim Van Vee. I don't think it's going to count. If it does, I'll be a surprise, but... Yep, yeah, it's off. This is the emptiest I've ever seen Ibrox. And I've played in an empty Ibrox. Well, say we lost 3 0, but you know what? It could have been a lot worse. And it has been a lot worse. You know, I don't have too much motivation to talk about the game, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, you know, as I expected, we got well beaten. And I don't have any complaints about the result. Um, we started off, I thought, quite bright. Not the better side, but we were... I mean, we had possession in the final third. That's as pathetic as I'm starting to get now. Um, we were... Winning in corners for the first 10 minutes. I don't know, I'm just fed up talking about this. Um, then Morelos scored. It was a great ball in by Barisic can't take it away from him I, his quality showed there I mean he was like we were sitting off him and then we just allowed him to plant a fantastic ball into the box and Morelos headed it in and in the second goal from header from a corner it's really our, our bread and butter like we have been undone by crosses into the box uh, twice in the first half I mean as soon as Rangers took the lead, like we opened up and we allowed Rangers to play more expansive. I'm I'm a bit irked because there were two instances where Connor Shields jumped out of a challenge. Uh and I mean he should have done better with the first one against Al McGregor. Uh he actually won the ball and um was off balance and took a shot from like twenty five yards out where there was an open goal. Uh and then the second one in the in the second half, um, you just sort of ran out, ran out of the way of Al McGregor. And I mean that was the difference in the two sides. I mean, they didn't have a shite bag in the team. We did, and then eventually Tillman made it three 0 And to be honest, I'm actually at a point where I can't be arsed anymore. <laughs> Is it? Is it too harsh to say? Like I, I genuinely am losing interest. This this calendar year, we only won seven league games. I saw a league table on Twitter, I'm fired up now, that out of all the teams that played in the top flight for the whole of the calendar year, we have the worst um, record. It's relegation form at its finest. But yeah. Anyway guys, thanks for making my day and watching this video and uh, I hope you all have a fantastic new year, Hogmanay, and I'll be back in the new year hopefully with some new content. I keep saying, or I keep teasing new different content but it never comes. <laughs> I'm losing the spark but anyway, yeah, thanks guys and I'll see you later. Take care.